Welcome back to Robin Hood Coins, everybody. This is TJ and Maid Marion, and we are back with another quarter hunt. We got three boxes this week. It was a struggle. Maid Marion went to a bank and switched out some circulated coins for un or sorry, customer wrapped rolls, right? Yes, customer wrapped for some closed bank boxes. And then I got one I switched out as well. We could not order them. We had to switch them out. So that's how we got the boxes. Let's see if we have uncirculated or circulated. Whoa, that one looks all messy, but we have some circulated rolls here. Yeah, so the we are or the new one. Yeah, the Weir Farm. Farm. Yeah. I guess that's another not the one right there. One it's not the newest, but it is a 2020. So there could be some West Points in there. And let's see. We got the back quarters. We know these are not gonna have West Points, but we can use these to trade for another box. Let's see what else we got here. Hopefully some weird farm. All right, we are gonna have a circulated box hunt. It looks like we have some more circulated quarters. So we have both boxes laid out and ready to go, and we are gonna crack into the first box. Hopefully we find some silver or some West Points. As always, we'll be giving away something from the hunt. In order to enter the giveaway, just comment on this video, and then be sure to watch our Saturday winner's video to see if you won. So let's get into these rolls. We're on roll number 13 and we have our first good find. It is a 2020 West Point. Check out that privy right there. V75, 75th anniversary of World War II victory. And it is a National Park American Samoa. I saw this side first and flipped it over and saw the W, but very nice. It's a little dinged up. You can tell it's the second or third time in circulation. Wait, can I see the 2020? Right that's there. That's so cool. But look at that right there. That's the privy. That's so cool. We are working on roll number 26. And I found another 2020 West Point. Look at that privy right there. It is a little dinged up and scratched up. But let's see what it is. And the little helper is running here. You want to go flip it over? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Man. We know it's a 2020 because it has the privy. It's the same one as the last one. American Samoa 2020. That is good stuff. You know, the last time we had these in a box, it was a circulated box and three American Samoa in it. That's pretty cool. Wow. These Let's, things are beautiful. They really are, aren't they? Mm -hmm. We're working on roll 32, and I'm pretty excited about this. Look at that. Right there. That looks like a foreign. My, I think it's a silver. That would be awesome if it's a silver foreign. Yeah. Oh, that would. Wait, okay. It's silver foreign? Well, it's a foreign. Look, the reeds are different. The lines, they're different than all the others. Mm -hmm. That has to be a foreign. Okay, pull it out. See if it's a silver. Let's see. How do you know if it, we'll ha we may have to look it up. We'll use Coinoscope to check it out. Ooh. And it looks like it is Bermuda. We have 1984. 25 cents Bermuda. We do not have that one. Check out that design. Isn't that cool? That's, oh. that's a pretty bird. <laughs> <laughs> not really but okay 1984 that is very cool roll 48 and it has been a slow start for maid marion but i have a foreign and it's another bermuda reading it right there on the obverse that is cool what year is this one 2009 that is awesome so at least I'm on the board for something. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you. Uh-huh. Well, we are all done with box number one, and that was not a bad box. We ended up with two 2020 West Points, both the American Samoa, and we had two Bermuda coins. That is really cool. 
Hopefully, box two has some silver or more W's. It's been a while since we've had a proof. So let's get into this box and find out. All right, we're on roll 23 of box two, and I found another foreign. All right, this looks like it's a Canada. And okay. what is that year? The 2007? Yeah, that it is. 2007 right there. I love that design. Canada 25 cool. cent. That is very cool. Good job. Thanks. We are all done with box number two, and there are the discards. And here are all the coins that we set aside to check for errors and varieties, and the keeper coins that we found during the hunt. So, we're going to be checking for a bunch of DDOs, DDRs, die cracks, die cuds, um, missing letters, everything that's on the Rob Vines Treasure Clyde Coinage mat. You can get those at robfindtreasure.com if you want to get one. All of these are the ones that I set aside to look for. So we're going to go ahead and take these under the scope and see if we have any good varieties. So here is the 2008 Alaska State Quarter minted in Philadelphia. And as you can see, we have a lot of extra metal all over the claws. I mean, three huge chunks right there. And this one down here looks like an extra claw. But it's not the one that I'm looking for with the extra claw right here. But I also noticed that there was even some extra metal in between the R and the E and the A and the N. Here's a 1999 Delaware State Quarter minted in Philadelphia. We're looking for extra metal right here, but we didn't find any. But what I did find when I was looking for that is this specimen right here with some extra metal from a die cut or crack in both the D and the N. Probably won't keep it, just figured I'd share it. So I'm finally looking at the Nevada State Quarter looking for the pooping horse variety. And I was saving a few of them because I had heard about it but it didn't know exactly where it was at. But on one of the live streams, Greg King showed me and um, told me about it and then sent me a picture of one that he had found. So that was very helpful. And I believe it's on the Philadelphia minted version. So this right here is an example that doesn't have it. Just wanted to show you and my little helper. Hi. I wanted to show both of you guys, everyone, the a good example without it. And uh, two examples that I found. This is not the one that's similar to um, what Greg King showed me, but it does almost look like <laughs> there's a little bit of poop that dropped right there. <laughs> yeah, um, this right here looks like post mint damage, but it but it does almost look like a, a little bit of poop right there too. So I thought that one was funny. But check out this one. This one has a lot of poop. <laughs> Look at all that poop. <laughs> uh, so, yep, right here we have a die cut that caused a whole bunch of extra metal. And so it appears like the horse has pooped. I want to show Treasure Turd, huh? Treasure Turd will probably like this. Thank you, Greg King. This actually looks very close to the picture that he had sent me. So thank you very much for sending me that example to help me find this variety. So we are all done checking for errors in varieties and it was pretty cool, the finds that we found. But here's the overall wrap up. We did not find any silver, unfortunately, but that's how it's been lately with quarters. Silver has been tough to find. We did find two 2020 West Points that is really cool. Love that V475, the V75 Privy. Both of these West Points are American Samoa 2020 West Points. And that is the only 2020 that we have found. But you can never have too many West Points. We ended up finding three foreigns. We found two from Bermuda. I really like the design on the on that Bermuda coin. I don't know exactly what bird that is, but it's a cool looking bird. Then we, so we had that one and then we had this one from 2009. Still curious to see the mintage on that if it's a low mintage like the US coins. 
And then we also had a Canadian right here. Love the Canadian quarters. Those are cool. And then again, with the quick wrap up of the varieties, we found the two Nevada State quarters with the die crack that looks like the third horse is pooping. And we found the die crack or cud that filled in part of the letter right there on the um, Caesar Rodney portion of the reverse. And then that die cud that just covers up a bunch of the claw on the Alaska State Quarter. But not the extra claw variety that we've been looking for. So the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be one of those American Samoa West Points with the Privy. These are pretty cool. And there it is. We found two of them on this hunt. That was awesome. As always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on this video. And then we'll use a random comment picker on our weekly Saturday winners video every Saturday at noon to pick the winner. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed the hunt. It was a lot of fun. If so, smash that like button. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any videos or giveaways. And we will see you on the next hunt.